Good morning and welcome to a day in my life. <laughs> Last week I posted another day in my life in Singapore, but I was just like a kind of like a long-term holiday when I was also working. Uh, this is my actual life. This is what I actually do every day of my life, almost, or at least I try to. So today I'm going to office. I'll also do a bit of morning routine before and uh, I'll take you guys with me. Little disclaimer here. This is my morning routine and in general, my daily life of the cooler months because Dubai temperature changes so much. And in summer, I have to really readjust my my habits, like whatever I do, because it's really hot, as you may imagine. And I don't really go to office because most of my uh, colleagues uh, work from other countries in summer. So um, yeah, maybe I'll f I'll film another one uh, where you'll see like I wake up extremely early, go out for a walk at like five or six a.m. because that's like the only time that you can do things outside. But yeah, more on this in the next vlogs. <laughs> the exact same breakfast for more than a year now every single day i'm really like surprised that i haven't gotten sick of it yet because i know that day will come and from that day onwards like i won't be able to even look at this anymore <laughs> for how much i've had but until then i'm still loving thriving on my little yogurt bowl which i just spilled out with chocolate protein powder which is my favorite protein powder. I don't think I've ever tried other flavors, but chocolate, I think, is just the number one. Blueberries, nuts, and uh, chia seeds. It's just a perfect breakfast. Time for my morning walk. This temperature is just incredible. If you want to visit Dubai, just come between November and um, I would say March. I think April already starts warming up a little bit, but like right now, end of March, oh my god, it's just insane. <laughs> also, going on my morning walk is just my number one non negotiable of the day. Like, I do a lot of things, but if there's one thing that I really need to function, especially in the morning or in the evening to take home rest, is to go for a walk. Like. I don't know, it just energizes my body, wakes me up properly, uh, and it gives me that clarity of mind. Like, I feel like when I wake up, I'm always feeling like, I mean, not, not super overwhelmed, but I have like that pressure, like slight feeling of, oh my God, I have to do so many things today. Maybe I feel a little tired and it's just magic. Like after my walk, I feel so at peace or at least like I have much more clarity of mind. And now, quick stop at Colos Italia. This is like my little corner of Italy <laughs> in Dubai. It just makes me feel so at home. So I think this is the most Italian restaurant in Dubai. Uh, I mean, it is the most authentic. And it's not just a restaurant. It's just like they have past pastries, desserts, coffee, ice cream. Um, it really has this like local neighborhood vibe. And I just went back home to shower and get ready. And now I'm going to office. It's, um, I'm really lucky to be only living uh, 10 minutes walking from the office and uh, it's something that I was really looking for when I moved here because I've been commuting for over three hours a day when I was going to uni in Milan and trust me, you don't want to do that. <laughs> so I was like, I'm going to move next to the office no matter what. And uh, it's a really nice walk. It really puts me in a good mood when I don't have to, you know, take transport or drive in traffic every day. Um, yeah, apart from summer when 10 minutes walk really makes you sweat like a marathon with the temperature in Dubai but that's another story for now so far so good and that is my office that one
Okay, so this is the office. It's not super big. Uh, I find it quite cozy and I think it's perfect for now because we're just about 10 people here in the Dubai branch of our company. The best thing is by far the view. So we're on the 24th floor and this is what you can see. You can even see a tiny bit of the ocean in between the buildings. I wouldn't really call it an ocean view, but almost. <laughs> There's this big open space where most of us sit and then two little rooms uh, that are basically the offices of the two, the founder and the co-founder. This one in the middle is, uh, we call it the jungle room because we put these like plants and the monkey, uh, but it's basically a room that any of us can just uh, book if we have some meetings or we can be all together here. Sometimes we come for lunch, but it's just free for everyone to use. And then we have this little phone booth, uh, which we just added because we we're so many people here in the open space having calls. So it's getting quite loud and it's really cool. We can also, yeah, just book this so we make sure it's available and uh, take our calls from here. Unfortunately, there are not that many options for lunch around the office here. Um, so we either get something delivered to the office or we grab something from downstairs where there's a couple of supermarkets. Um, and yeah, that's what I'll do today. I'll just grab something from here and I'll eat it inside the office because it's currently Ramadan. So it's considered disrespectful to, to eat in public. And most of the restaurants actually, I think they remove chairs and tables and things like that. Um, I mean, I'm not sure because it's my first Ramadan here, so we'll see, we'll see. But that's what I heard. Also, like smoking in public is not really um, nice. And uh, yeah, I don't know what else. If someone is from Dubai, you can just let me know here in the comments. It's been a long day and a very intense week, but it's finally Friday evening. I'm leaving the office and it's so good that finally days are getting longer and longer and now it's still light um, before, like, it's, it's not dark yet, but really. So I'm going home to get ready because one of my dearest friends from high school who lives in Italy, she is uh, visiting here because her boyfriend also moved here. So we're meeting up and we're probably gonna go to Marina and then eat somewhere at JVR. So we're very excited. All right, so apparently every time I'm supposed to be vlogging and I'm around other people, I forget about it. So we've got no footage from the night, but uh, it was really good night. I had a lot of fun catching up with my friends from high school. And I guess that's the end of the vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about life in Dubai um, or anything related, just drop them in the comments below and maybe I'll make another video to answer them. I will see you soon. Bye guys.